the smell of the autumn and, and the holidays. Absolutely. And pumpkin pie, apple pie cooking in the oven, and it permeates your whole house. But Absolutely. you can't have a, a pumpkin uh, pie or an apple cake in your oven every single day. So this is the way you can have that autumn smell, that Christmas smell all through the season starting right now. And what I'd like to do with mine, I got some pumpkins, and we made candles out of them. But I want to show you, too, that you can take any containers that you have in the house. I happen to have some soup bowls that were shaped like pumpkins. And I made it here, and you can give it out as a gift, a hostess gift. Here's one in green, and this other one is white. And look at the pretty color over here. This is orange over here, and mm. this is actually a ceramic, and they make beautiful gifts, and they'll burn, and they'll last for at least a whole month oh. when they're in the ceramics. The the ones in the, in the pumpkins will last about a week, but it's slow burning, and they're very easy to do and economical. Now, if you go to the store to buy something like this, these run about $65. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how to make it for $15 or less and this is practically nothing because all you have to do is buy the the pumpkin, Little pumpkin and, in the... yeah and I we have cinnamon and things like that in the house so it's very simple to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some soy wax and you can get that in any uh, supply store uh, um, uh, like a Michaels or a sure. Joann's so we're going to turn this on yeah, because I can't see because I can't see okay because it's black on black okay. that's why hey, uh, right. soy wax compared to regular wax is... well soy wax is a slow burning wax and okay. if you use paraffin it gets really hot but this is I like soy wax and beeswax actually because mm -hmm. it's a slower burning wax gotcha. so okay. this is very simple too this is what you need to make your candles you have some pumpkins and then we have a bamboo sticks, the wick, some cinnamon sticks, a scissors. What kind of sticks? Cinnamon sticks. <laughs> <laughs> ground cinnamon. Here's some cinnamon here that's um, not ground up. Ooh. Some anise, some star anise. This is coloring for your oh, pumpkin. Smell that. That smells so and then a pumpkin smell. Like smell that. that. Okay. This is what the candles are going to Did smell you? like. It's oh. cinnamon, oh, and wow. pumpkin, and everything. It's okay. So what we're right. going to do is we're going to first take our bamboo skewers and we're going to take the wick. And what you want to do after you've cleaned out your pumpkin, you just, pump, pumpkin, pumpkin, you put it at the put bottom. Your you're going to measure it like that, and then put your stick down, and then you're going to turn your wick around about four times. Okay. And then you're going to place this, and this will, and you center it, and this is going to help you center your wick. So you would like the the ideal thing is to have this metal thing resting on the resting bottom on of the container, the, or the yes. pumpkin floor, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I'm going to twist it one more time because this is not right. There you go, and you just okay, put there. like there you go. Mm. And I'm going to show you how to cut that off later. All right. So um, what we're going to do is let me see. We have about 30 seconds. So is there any? Are there any questions that you want to um, ask me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I have one of those brownies? Yes, you can have okay. one of these brownies. Are they real or are they TV brownies? These are real brownies. Ooh, Would you are? like one? Because oh. I made some tea, the cinnamon mm. tasting tea over here. Of course. All right. So we're going to take our paraffin wax mm. out of here. Should be melted. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Okay, needs to melt just a little more, but I'm not sure we're going to have the time to do it. So we're just going to stir it. that up. Stir it up, and then to that we're going to add some of our mm. our um, uh, the uh, the aroma here of the cinnamon and the pumpkin. You can overdo then, that probably, yeah. Well, you you can. I don't bit. think you can mm. ever overdo beautiful cinnamon and pumpkin smell. You want your whole house to smell <clears> like <throat> Christmas. I'm going to make this orange. <laughs> are you okay? You, are you okay? okay. <laughs> it's just got a little sideways in there. All right. I'm going to put some orange coloring in here because we want to do a nice orange candle. And I'll maybe put a little red in here too to make it a nice deep color. So this is very very simple to do. We just mix now, this up. Now, pardon me. I'm Look chewing in my 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 manners. Where are they? My table manners. You just my, oh, you're gonna have to help <laughs> Sophie in the kitchen. I know. Now, to uh, that, I'm going to add some cinnamon. Okay. Add a little cinnamon. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. I want to ask you because obviously these would survive outdoors. Would would you recommend this would be something you could set outside? You could set that outside. Obviously not here in California. It's a little hot right yeah. now. But back east, it's getting nice and toasty. You could mm -hmm. definitely put that outside, mm -hmm. and it will, it will last. But these, the pumpkins that are fresh, will last in the house for about three or to four days. These, of course, will give you a burning for you know about um, eight to ten hours. Okay. So that's pretty good. Now. All right, so here we have our mm. mixture, and we're going to just gently pour it into the pumpkin, mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> there we go. And we're going, this will take, obviously we still have little chunks in here, but that's okay, it'll melt. It's hot enough where it will melt. This will take about two to three hours to set up, so you mm -hmm. just let it, you know, cool. You could put it on your back porch. You could even put it in the refrigerator if you like. And then when you're finished, 
You see how I use the bamboo stick over here? And we have a lot of wick over here, and you want that because you want to be able to snip it off like that. And there you have. Is the there? A, do you have a fast rule uh, on this when when a candle burns? Where to cut the wick? How much wick? Is there? A... What I do, if you want here, like here, like. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> One more time. There it is. All right, everybody. All right. There it is. Happy birthday. The trick to that is when it cools, what you want to do in order to save the wick, you're going to take it and you're going, because it, it, it has that black stuff yeah. that's on it, you just gently remove it and that will give you, that will save your wick and you just cut it just a teeny weeny, okay, just very okay. teeny weeny. Perfect. So that's another time. So I'm so winded after blowing <laughs> all of that. But I want you to look at how beautiful all of this is. And this has a little star anise in it. You can add some more cinnamon to it. And your whole house will have that beautiful Christmas sm uh, smell all through the holidays.